The whole world is experiencing a terrible pandemic and it's time to share everything we know about the new coronavirus. Hi everybody, my name is Giorgio Sestili. I'm a physicist and a scientific communicator. I'm recording this video from Rome, Italy. Two weeks ago, I opened a Facebook page named Coronavirus Scientific Data and Analysis and uh, I did this to give voice to the scientific community that is hardly working to slow down the coronavirus spread, but mostly to allow people in understanding what is going on worldwide, talking about scientific data in the easiest way possible. As you surely know, Italy had a dramatic outbreak of the virus since the middle of February, but now the emergency has spread all over the world. After one month of terrible emergency, we learned a lot about this virus. For the reason, we think it is important to share our knowledge outside the borders. In just one month from the beginning of the outbreak, the virus in Italy has reached about 70,000 infected. From the data, about 6% of patients require intensive care units assistance and about 10% of patients die. Such a high fatality in Italy makes us think that the real positive cases are five or maybe ten times more than those detected. In the northern of Italy, the richest and the most efficient area of our country, there is already an overload of the healthcare system. And this awful situation makes difficult to assist further people affected by COVID-19. As you can see in this graph, the blue color is the uh, beds in intensive care units area uh, before the, the emergency, and the red one are the new created during this emergency, but it's not enough. So the first advice we'd like to share with you is increase the number of ICU beds in your hospital. In this way, you can save many lives during the most acute emergency phase. As some Italian scientists wrote in a recent letter of, to the scientific community, the virus is spreading at maximum speed. As we can see in this graph, all the countries has an exponential growth at the beginning of the outbreak. And from the data available until now, it is possible to say with no dupes that all the European countries are facing with the same rate of contagion speed and that they are just a few days behind us in Italy in the spreading. And the same, as we can see in this graph, is happening in the USA that are growing fastly than Italy and then the other state. The beginning of the outbreak had the extra same number of infections in China and in Italy, as we can see in this graph. Here we can see that the number of positive, of, of positive cases are the same at the, at the beginning before, between China and Italy. And uh, here we can see that also the number of deaths are the same at the beginning. But there is a difference, a big difference. The difference is that China did a quick and total lockdown of the city of Wuhan and all the Uber region eight days before Italy. And just the, the eight days of delay in the lockdown resulted in a huge increase in Italy in the number of total deaths respect to China. And as we can see today, the number of deaths in Italy are double than in China. According to an important scientific research published in the Journal of Clinical Medicine, the incubation period of COVID-19 falls within a range of 2 and 14 days, with a mean of around 5 days. Moreover, the average time from uh, symptoms to death is around 20 days. What does it mean? It means that a decrease of deaths will be visible after 26 days from the lockdown and not before. So you have to be patient because you need time 
you need 26 days before you can see the positive results of the lockdown in your state. Another important Italian lesson is about asymptomatic people. Yes, the virus is spreading also thanks to people with no symptoms. According to a study made in Vaux, a small village in the north of Italy with about 3,000 people. All people living in Vaux have been testing and the majority of them were positive, completely asymptomatic, but they can transmit the virus to other people. This means two important things. The first one, the percentage of infected people in the population, even if asymptomatic, is very high and represents the majority of cases, especially among young people. The second one, the isolation of asymptomatics is essential to be able to control the spread of the virus and the severity of the disease. Finally, we report clinical data about uh, more than 62,000 cases of COVID-19 disease in Italy. According with the Italian National Health Institute report of 24 March 2020, the big majority of positive cases are over 50 years old, as we can see in this infographic. And the 9% of positive cases are healthcare workers, so healthcare operators and doctors. And it is a very big problem for the healthcare system and for the workers in the healthcare system. I'm on more than 5,000 people die, less than 1% are people under 50 years old. And the lethality of this virus grows with the growth of the age and for people with previous Ill illness, as we can see here. So I want to share these pieces of information with you hoping uh, you can face this emergency in the, the most efficient way possible. Thank you very much for your time and take care.